Good morning. Good morning, Chef. There are many legends in the culinary world. Today, you all had the good fortune of meeting a household name. His brand is known across the entire world. Please welcome the one and only. Come on out. Buongiorno. Oh, no. <laughs> Good morning. Hey. <laughs> I said a legend. It is right here. Here we are. Potato Head. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. I haven't seen one of these things in 30 fucking years. You could put his eyes on his ear and his ears on his eye and his nose on his dick. You could stick anything anywhere. For decades, this toy has encouraged creativity and imagination around the world. For today's challenge, I want you all to create a dish with the potato as a key component, the hero. I want your imaginations running wild. Jockey Christina. That's a potato. One for each of you. Inside this bucket are dozens of potato head little attachments, each labelled with an ingredient. You left 30 seconds to collect as many ingredients as you need to build your dish. I'm looking around, I'm counting the people, you know, I'm like, you know, we don't have enough pieces here. At, not at all. Marina, we need more. On your mark, get set, go! Oh my God. <laughs> In part one of today's challenge, each body part the chef select will be attached to their Mr. Potato Head. Ooh, I can't find a damn protein. And the corresponding ingredient must be used in their dish. Nobody seen shrimp, man? I haven't seen shrimp at all. No problem. I drop to my knees and I'm picking through like I'm looking for lice in my daughter's fucking hair. Three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Thanks for the ingredients. We're going to win this right here. Can you see the resemblance? <laughs> yeah. Your time starts now. In today's Mr. Potato Head Challenge, each chef will have 45 minutes to create a dish using the ingredients they gathered, highlighting the potato as the star of the plate. Chris, give me a little insight to your dish. I'm doing a shepherd's pie, chef. I'm taking a big risk, making a lobster version of shepherd's pie. So it's with mushrooms, peppers. I'm going to do terracon. You sure? Yes, chef. Down to two minutes, guys, yes? Let's start plating. T, can you pass me my plates? They're behind you. One more color, right? A little more, a little more, a little more. My plates, they're behind you. Come on, guys. Ten, nine, eight. Come on, Ro. Seven. Chris, come on. Six, here. Five. Let's go, Chris. Potatoes four, you, three. Two, one, and down. Holy mackerel. Good job, guys. Blue team, you have one more chef on your team than the red team. You need to come to consensus on who has the weakest dish, because that dish will not be judged. Anyone off the bat feel not comfortable? Pancakes. This is pretty one. grainy. Well, my sweet potatoes aren't going to be smooth. It's like a yam. Right. I'm telling the blue team, I'm very confident in my flavors. You need my dish to go up, because that's the only way we're going to win this thing. Ladies, hurry up. This is just really lacking a little bit. It's just chunky. Yeah, agreed. OK. It's fine. Blue it's team, fine. It's fine. whose dish are you dropping? Chef, uh, we're going to drop Kanae's dish. Kanae's? Yes, Chef. Why? Visually, it's not that appealing, and it was a little clunky. Clunky? Yes, Chef. Jose, let's go, please. Chef Ramsay and Chef Blaze will each score the potato dishes on a scale of one to five for a total of 10 points. The team with the most points will win the challenge. Here we have a uh, sweet potato gratin. I had broccoli here, so what I did was char them to resemble bone marrow. Well, Jose, so ambitious. I think you could have just served the potato gratin in a little cocotte with maybe some of the chicken inside of the gratin, and that's a beautiful dish. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are beautiful in jeans and a t-shirt. They don't need to get dressed up and wear fancy suits, right? Yes. I wanted more jeans and a t-shirt in this dish. I'm going to go with a two here. 
and for me, it's a two. Right, next up. T, let's go, please. I did red garnet, sweet potatoes, and some butter squash. It looks a little uh, granular. The bacon's a little crispy. You could have peeled the ends of the peas a little bit, because that's not a pleasant texture to have in your mouth. So the most underwhelming thing for me on that plate is the actual potato. Mm, yeah. I'm going to have to give this dish a one. It's a two from me, T. Thank you. Whoa. T, you better pray that we don't lose this challenge. 